This is a ruptured Baker cyst in an 82-year-old male that caused significant atrophy of the medial gastrocnemius muscle, which you can see here, probably from tibial nerve compression. And what's interesting about this cyst is it's probably a combination of serosanguinous fluid and organized hematoma, as this patient is on blood thinners. Here we're looking at this popliteal cyst in a sagittal plane. You can appreciate that there is a rupture of this cyst at its most distal pole. You can see the fluid tracking essentially in the subcutaneous tissue and subcutaneous fascia. It's lying right over the medial gastrocnemius muscle, which is hyperechoic, consistent with atrophy. Here we're going distally. You can see the fluid tracking within the subcutaneous tissue. This is a very oblong popliteal cyst, and there's hyperechoic signal and straining within this cyst consistent with organization. And given the fact this patient is on blood thinners, it was initially felt this may be an organizing hematoma mixed in with this cyst. Here we are looking at the proximal aspect of the cyst in addition to the proximal aspect of the medial gastrocnemius muscle. You can also see the medial gastrocnemius tendon overlying the posterior aspect of the medial femoral condyle. Here we're going distally and again you can see the extent of this rupture and the extent of this cyst. Here you can see some of the fluid again within the subcutaneous fascia, which is just superficial to the medial gastrocnemius muscle. You can also appreciate the plantaris tendon going diagonally across. And now um, you can see it essentially overlying the soleus muscle. Here we're going to look at the cyst in an axial plane. You can see the medial gastrocnemius tendon to the right, and that's essentially like a boomerang type shape. And you don't see the semimembranosus tendon here, secondary to anisotropy. Here you can see the cyst going in and out of view, again with some organization and hyperechoic straining within that cyst. Here you can see well the semimembranosus tendon and the medial gastrocnemius tendon essentially at the same time, which is pretty difficult to do. Um, usually you just get one of them in view at a time, secondary to anisotropy. Even though I was not very optimistic, here we are going in trying to drain what we could, given the fact that he was having significant symptoms. We were able to get a little bit of fluid out of that dark pocket, but essentially uh, didn't get much at all, again, as this is essentially an organizing hematoma. So essentially recommended that he see a surgeon for surgical evacuation of this organizing hematoma mixed in with this popliteal cyst that ruptured.